Are you wondering how to combine the different dies that you can get from your AccuQuilt system? In today's video, I want to share with you my latest quilt for the Island Batik Ambassador Program. This is called Traveling Puzzle, and I used both the 80-inch cube set and the Arkansas Traveler Block on Board from AccuQuilt. Let's dive in and take a look. Hi, I'm Andy. If this is your first time joining me, welcome to True Blue Quilts, a place to enjoy, experiment, and excel as you create. So for this quilt, I needed to make some blocks with my eight inch cube. And the cubes are a fantastic way to get lots of different dies that can go together in all sorts of ways. As their packaging describes, you can make 72 classic blocks from just one die set. And these cubes come in a variety of sizes. The other thing I did was open up my Eleanor Burns Go Cube book that comes along with the cubes. And I just browsed through this and found the blocks that I wanted to include. Now, they there are a couple different versions. One is the schoolgirls puzzle and the also the old maids puzzle are two of the blocks that I found. So I kind of did my own thing and didn't set, stick with the specifics given here, but this book is a great resource for describing the different fabric requirements and how to cut your initial fabrics for running them through the Go AccuQuilt system. Then I grabbed my Arkansas Traveler die. This block on board system cuts all the fabric pieces that you need to make a complete quilt block. So I just layered my um, diamond pieces and my two background pieces and cut everything all at once so that I could create the center medallion for my traveling puzzle quilt. So these are the Arkansas Traveler blocks with their white background. And then you can see the two different puzzle blocks, the Old Maid's Puzzle and the Schoolgirl Puzzle variations that I did. I don't think either one is specifically shown the way it was laid out in the book, but this was the layout that I chose that I used for this project. Here are the original classic puzzle block layouts and here are my variations. You can see that I turned the chain portion a little bit and then on another block in the corners I totally left out the alternate section of the block. With the half square triangles, you can just put pair them with the plain blocks of background. And I call this like a kissing fish block because it's just where the two half square triangles meet and these smaller half square triangles kind of make the tail of your fish swimming along there. Um, half square triangles are one of my favorite all time units to use in my quilts. So it was a lot of fun using the two different sizes there that you see. And you can make this block work with any size half square triangle. You have the smaller one, kind of the half size, and then whatever the doubled size would be for that block. And I also like these chain elements that I was able to put in the borders. I took this challenge of mixing two different blocks as is. I had my 12 inch Arkansas Traveler block and I had the pieces from my eight inch cube. So I combined those with those as is sizes. So this is an eight inch block and this is a 12 inch block. 
So of course I had to add some spacing in there to make the overall quilt layout work. Um, and I did that by just adding extra fabric strips here. And that gave me a lot of space to play with some free motion quilting designs. As a long arm quilter, that's one of my favorite things to do is just fill up your quilt with some fabulous free motion stitching. Sometimes it can be hard to choose free motion quilting designs. I try to let the quilt speak to me and I like to provide some contrast and make sure that the quilting design draws you in. And if there are a lot of sharp angles, I may try to add some curves in the stitching and vice versa. If it's a very straight, uh, curvy quilt, then I will add some straight line elements. But I did want to keep kind of the cross X look of this quilt so that's why you see some of the details in the quilting with those chains that cross each other and since I was doing the chain aspect in some places I wanted to keep that going in the kind of larger border sections as well so let's take a closer look at each element for all the diamonds in the Arkansas Traveler block and also in the half square triangles throughout the quilt, I used a continuous curve stitch. And I'll link to another video that details how to create that. I also used some flame stitch type designs in the background area of that center medallion. In the half square triangle blocks, I filled the background with simple switchbacks that gave a nice fill to that design. For the strands of DNA that I quilted in the border sections, I actually made six different passes across the quilt because I like to get in the groove of that S curve, that up and down sine wave that makes that uh, DNA strand effect. And I just spread out my peaks and valleys to get the longer ovals in the center. And then I just shortened everything up to make them more condensed pebble circle shapes there on either side. So I had uh, six individual lines of curves that combine to make those three circular elements in the borders. So I hope you enjoy this look at the, my traveling puzzle quilt made with the Arkansas Traveler Block on Board, which is a great uh, system from AccuQuilt to be able to get all the pieces to make one quilt on one single die. So definitely check those out. I have a great series of videos coming up talking to some other quilters and exploring some classic quilt blocks. So stay tuned for those videos in the coming weeks. Until then, YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Check it out.